So you're here to see this, the Vivarium Electronics VE6 rack. So this isn't a how-to build video, step-by-step. Step. As you can see, it's already built. But I've built a lot of these in the past, and uh, I just want to go over a couple key points that their directions are lacking. And hopefully in the future, especially for newbies, they can get that cleaned up. Um, so overall, it's pretty self-explanatory. However, when it comes to routing the heat tape, you will see, not now, but on the inside, you have top A, back A, back B, top B. The photo you'll see will have a hole with the strain relief on the A side. This is for the Super 70 rack. So when you're doing this rack, the hole is on the B side. Now, when you feed the heat tape, the top is off, which gives you easier access. Now, the plug that would go to the outlet, really in your thermostat, you're supposed to put through the sides when you're starting, I'm sorry, when you're ending. The plug would go through here, out the back, and no strain relief. You could show that over here in the back. See that hole and then the strain relief for the plug. So what happens is you take the other end of the heat tape, you run it through here, all the way out the other side. You'll then be left with the end where the clips and the plug and the wire are. And then that's how you would run that through and out. However, like I said, that plug does not fit through here. So what you need to do with the top off is run the plug from the inside straight out, leave yourself some slack, then take your heat tape with that end, pull it all the way through the side till you are left with the other end, which is what you would originally be starting with. Then you feed it all through, and then you're gonna be left here like you're supposed to be. Now, when you're running the tape, come over here, hon. You'll run it through, there's grooves, you'll come all the way out. You're not supposed to loop it on the outside down to here. You're then gonna fold it back underneath. Now the heat tape is both sided, it's not single one side, so both sides heat. So you pull it through, you then take the end, you go back through and down, you pull it back out here, that way it lines this part, and then you go back in on this level all the way through, then the other side, you repeat and repeat and repeat. So those are a little confusing if you've never done it. Um, other than that, it's a breeze, it's a great rack. It's lightweight, it's affordable. They have these awesome tubs. These are 23 quart, so this is a big tub. Um, this rack also holds two other sizes. It could go one across, two across, or three across, as you know. I got the casters, they're locking swivel casters. They're also made to stack. You can see the notches. So you get this rack, either the six high or the two high, I believe. No casters, locks right in, no need for pins. Um, one other thing I'd like to mention, and I think I mentioned it in videos in years past, is each level, you won't be able to see in there, but the recessed heat tape also has another little recess for the thermostat probe. That's on each level. Now I'm not sure, but I think the probe recess will only fit their thermostats. Well, I shouldn't say only their thermostats, but I'm not sure if the Spider Robotics thermostat probe will fit in the recess groove underneath the heat tape. If somebody could verify that, that would be great. But, um, this rack holds heat and humidity really well. Um, 
I have it set to 82 right now. It's been running about an hour, which is what you want to give the thermostat to acclimate. <clears throat> and there we are, 81 basically. And that's right what I want for my bull snakes. 82 degrees, give or take, on the hot spot. So I've had pretty much the majority of all the caging rack manufacturers over the years. And, you know, are these the best professional racks on the market? They're not. But they're pretty close. And for the price, they work for most people. And we'll be getting a Super 70 uh, the next year or so. I had their previous models, which was the CB70, uh, but he came out with his own tub, a little bit bigger than the standard 70, and I'm really excited about that. So, just wanted to touch on a couple things, and uh, hopefully that helps some of you guys out, especially if you're new. So, thank you.